Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing of Star Wars Outer Rim. It's from Fantasy Flight Games. It's for one to four players, and a uh, hot new uh, Star Wars game that's making all the waves. So let's just crack it open, see what you get inside. This one's been, uh, this was announced about the same time as the, uh, the uh, Lord of the Rings Journeys of Middle Earth. And this one's finally starting to trickle through into retail. Mm -hmm. Being from Fantasy Flight, I expect uber great quality. So we'll start off here and get the usual catalog. All right, and then you get the learn to play Rules reference manuals, kind of the new style, the way they've been doing them lately, where you go through this one first, learn how to play the game, and then as you play, as you start playing it regularly, you just look up the rules. So, uh, it's a large print, full color book. The learn to play is about 16 pages. It looks like, in fact, it says 16 pages right there, and. Uh, Tells you how to play the single player game, which is great. And this is, this one has an AI deck, which is awesome. I don't know if it's, uh, I guess Automa is a trademarked name, but uh, this is an AI deck, which is, makes it awesome for, uh, for solo, obviously. I'm not sure if you can use it in a multiplayer game. And then the rules reference is gonna be a little bit thicker, maybe. It's 20 pages, it's four pages thicker. It does have an index. And then it also is full color, but it's mostly, mostly words. Use your words. So, it's your ready reference. All right, we're gonna get a stack of cardboard here. Looks like you get four sheets of cardboard. It's, looks like it's the standard Fantasy Flight, good quality, thick thick punch board. Uh, so we got credits here. Got a thousand credit marker. Um, punches out pretty easy and obviously the board is going to connect together. The board will connect together like that. And you got roots between the different planets. We've got our characters here. Looks like it's a good mixture of characters. I'm not sure what, when this takes place. Uh, there's some characters from the last trilogy, but it looks like they're younger, so. Um, a little background, here's your ship markers. And so we've got a Star Destroyer here. And your player characters. We got Boba, Han, Lando, IG-88, all sharing a friendly word. So we've got Jen from, uh, oh, drum like Rogue One. All right, so four sheets punch board. Okay. So we got dice, standy holders, some Pegs, the uh, obviously some people were hoping for miniatures or maybe adapting miniatures, but I'm kind of kind of happy that this is playable right out of the box with standees. Get six dice. Uh, looks like about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Standy holders, four pegs. Similar symbols to X Wing. They may mean different things. Okay, you got a nice color on. I do like the, uh, the kind of marbly brown on there. It evokes a Tatooine theme. And then the rest of the box 
Unless there's something hidden under here. Oh, there is stuff hidden under here. There's player boards hidden under here. Look at that. It's like my Easter basket has extra goodies in it. Okay. Check this out in a second. A lot of cards. And then figuring out what these do. It's obviously going to be Bib Fortuna. Chewbacca. Dingar. Some, some have artwork and some don't. I'm not sure what the differences are between the two. Um, but you get a lot of cards here. Wow, they're, they're numbered. So that's interesting. Reference cards. There's some character cards. These are player cards, Boba Fett, Jen Erso, Dr. Aphra, Han Solo, Lando Calrissian. And then we've got some decks with numbers. Whew. I like that they're, well, they seem a little narrower. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's a bridge style card versus a standard uh, poker deck card. Um, let's see a quick look. My person's in peril deck. Yeah, I think they're considered a bridge size card. These are slightly wider, same height. We get some weapons, gear, and gear. Job cards, crew cards, ship cards, planet cards, or event cards. So, lots of good cards here. And finally, we got some player boards. I heard some complaints that stuff slid around on the boards so I'm not sure I've had to wait to get my copy to see what they were talking about looks like there's some two uh, layer boards here uh, they are colored so we got a blue kind of a red an orange and a yellow um, obviously the pegs are going to slot there and there's another set of card boards here. These look like ship cards, ship boards. Show these real quick. Now these are a little thinner. Yeah, okay. These are pretty thin. So I'm wondering if these go in here somehow. Nah. I don't know. Let's we'll figure that out when we read the rules. So. Um, G9 Rigger, and then they flip over to a G1A Starfighter, Valorous, Short Haulers. So, anyway, if you finally get your copy of Star Wars Outer Rim, which seems like most people are getting it, you're going to get a bunch of ship cards here, two, two stacks of cards that go into many decks that would appear. Uh, you get some player boards. Dice, standees, pegs, four sheets of punch board, rules reference, a learn to play guide, and of course, the obligatory catalog. And that is what comes in Star Wars Outer Rim from Fantasy Flight Games. Appreciate you watching. Hit subscribe. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!